I want to say a big thank you to the governors, Sim Singh, and to our administrator, uh, Desiree Fergasso, and to Charleston County Parks for allowing us to do this here. And the two of them personally made this weather what it is today. <laughs> they lowered the humidity for us. I don't know how they did it, but thank y'all. Anyway, we've got a great thing happening here on Isle Palms today, but it's not just for Isle Palms, it's for the coastal South Carolina. And our governor has asked us to come down here and then do this, but at the same time, we've got a lot of dignitaries here today that I think really need to be recognized. So if you don't mind, I'm going to call up our local mayors first, uh, Jane Darby. Introduce yourself, please. I'm Jane Darby, mayor of Edisto Beach. Thank you, ma'am. Mr. Tim Goodwin, who also represents the South Carolina Beach Advocates. Tim Goodwin, Mayor of Folly Beach and the Chairman of the South Carolina Beach Advocates Association. Thank you, sir. Pat O'Neill. Thank you, Mayor. Pat O'Neill, Sullivan's Island, right over there, as, as most of you know, <laughs> trying to make sure Jimmy doesn't try to annex us. <laughs> we want your sand. <laughs> Will Haney, I think you're here somewhere. Thank you. Will Haney, Town of Mount Pleasant. Isn't it great when those bridges work so you can get to this island? <laughs> and I want to thank the governor because he was with us all the way when we had that crisis. And, um, and I will always appreciate his actions on that. Kept you all getting home, too. So that was good. <laughs> thank you. Do I have any other mayors I'm forgetting here? Bill Otis. Bill Otis, please come up here, sir. You are very critical because you are part of the background of this. Former mayor of Polly's Island, if I'm not mistaken, please say hello. Bill Otis, former mayor of Polly's Island and an ex officio member of the board of the South Carolina Beach Advocates. Thank you, sir, for being here. Well, Bill, you didn't tell me he was also on the Blue Ribbon Committee that <laughs> Now, we've got a lot of. And, and a native Colombian who grew up right down the street from old Henry. Wow. Oh, okay. Now we, now we got the inside scoop, but we're not going to tell any stories. <laughs> We have a lot of representatives here. I'm going to save one till last, but let's start with our local representatives. Uh, Mike Stilley, come up and say hello. And who you represent? Thank you, uh, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I represent District 112, which encompasses Isle of Palm, Sullivan's Island, and the majority of Mount Pleasant. And uh, glad to represent you and uh, want to welcome the governor and thank him for being on our little island and for doing such a good job. and. Uh, we look forward to this bill. I think it's going to be, matter of fact, I know it's going to help everybody. It's good for the, for everyone and and particularly the environment. So, Jimmy, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Re more representatives. There we go. Good afternoon. Alan Clemens from Myrtle Beach. I serve in the State House. Uh, had to be here to represent the beaches from Horry County who are partnered with you here in Charleston County and all along our coast to keep our coast beautiful to keep our ability to be able to have these beautiful homes and beautiful structures along the beach in place. It's an honor to be with you today. Thank you. Who else do we have here? Richie. Richie. Representative Richie Yow from Chesterfield in Lancaster County. Great to be a part of this. I want to thank Lee for uh, bringing me on board with this and giving me the opportunity to co-sponsor it for everyone, like he said. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, sir. Come up. How you doing? How you Good, doing? man. Welcome. Thank you. Representative Robert Williams, representing Florence and Darlington County. Uh, certainly, uh, I want to thank uh, Lee and, and, and those who serve on the subcommittee with us in order to get this bill passed and get it through. So uh, once again, thank you, and we're happy to be here. Thank you very much. Anybody else? All right, any elected officials who are here, council members uh, from across Charleston, across the state, raise your hand, please. Thank you all. Big hand for everybody. Now our lead speaker, Mr. Representative Lee Hewitt from Merle's Inlet. I'll let you introduce the governor and take it from there. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Mayor Carroll. Um, thank you all for all coming out. Um, there's a lot of people to thank here today. First of all, my name is Lee Hewitt. I represent Charleston and Georgetown County. So I have the oceanfront from Deweese Island all the way up to Garden City Beach. So about 60 miles of oceanfront. So you can tell why this bill is important for us. Uh, when this first hit the newspapers, I really want to thank the governor 
for his action he took in getting in touch with DHEC and, and putting a halt to this and uh, so that we could get into the details of where this bill is taking us. And also, he could not be here today, but I wanted to give a, a thanks to Senator Chip Campson, who I worked hand in hand with this bill on. He had a similar bill. He had a similar bill in the Senate. Um, mine made it through first. That's why I'm here. Um, it could have easily been Senator Kance, but I want to thank him and his staff for all their hard work they did. And also the state realtors, um, all the groups that came together um, to help this bill make it through in the House and the Senate without one single vote against it. Yeah, it's not often that you have that happen, but when you have a hundred and some odd votes for and zero against it, you know it's an important bill and something that's important for the coast. And I think everybody realizes that the coast is a treasure that we need to preserve and try to keep the way it is. So I want to thank, thank my fellow legislators for that. With that, I will turn it over to the governor for a few words and the signing. Thank you, Lee. I'm delighted to be here. And I think we all know this is by taking care of South Carolina and making sure that we do not slow down in our quest for the greatest prosperity we've ever had depends on teamwork. It's, we're like a family, and it's a, it's a great thing to know in South Carolina that everybody knows everybody. That's one, one way we're able to work together so quickly. Somebody said you got to be careful who you're fussing at. It's liable to be your cousin or who knows. But... This is a this is a great a great thing that has been done in law, and our our beaches in this coast are irreplaceable. Uh, they are a, a very bright spot in a, a very great country, and people all over the world are discovering South Carolina, and they're discovering our beaches, they're discovering our mountains, and the main thing they tell me, the big businesses from other parts of the world, say the main thing that attracts them besides those things are the people. They say the people of South Carolina are different, and you can tell by the camaraderie here that, that it, that's a fact and it's true, and it's a strong magnet for people who are looking to invest their life savings or invest their family fortunes or their company's fortunes to find a good place to work, grow, raise a family and, and seek the best prosperity they can have. One thing I would mention is we do have to be very careful about nature, about our beaches. We have to be very careful the way we conserve things. Some people say there's a balance between development and conservation. I say the two are parts of the same picture. You don't balance them, they, they strengthen each other. One thing we have to do, and, and Bill Otis was very helpful in, in increasing my understanding on, on this, but the sand, the question of sand on the beaches, the question of erosion, that's a state consideration. That's not just something local. And it just, just as well as the rising water in Charleston, about 60 days a year, uh, we need to be moving forward on that. And we're, we're, we're working on it now, I tell you. Uh, but the, the many in the highways, we have to be sure we have good, strong highways, good, strong bridges. But all of those are, those are questions for the whole state, not just one particular area. And with the attitude that we have towards progress in South Carolina, I'm confident that we will be able not only to correct what deficiencies we have, but also lead, lead the United States in innovation and prosperity. And it's a, it's a thrill for me to be here to sign this. Actually, it's already been signed. This is a ceremonial thing today, but it's worthy of ceremony because this is a very important step forward for the people of our state. It'll make us stronger. Uh, it'll make us happier, and that's what life is all about. So with that, Mr. Mayor, if you're ready to sign, I'm, I'm ready as well. Mr. Mayor, that's for you. Thank you, sir. 